Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book related video. And this video is going to be at some point, well, it is sort of right now anyway, being linked up with ASMR mathematics and some of the work we're doing with personal finance and investing and whatnot, right? And what we're about to do is package up some comics, the first set of comics that we've ended up selling on eBay. Okay, and let me show you what they are. They're the Go-Go Boys, right? So we ended up selling, and if uh, if you wanna know what's going on with this, we put out a video where I went through basically three short, uh, four and a half short boxes, or four short boxes, where I pulled out comic books from my collection that we're gonna end up selling over the next few months, right? Just basically to collect some data, because we've done a lot of comic book haul videos, right? So we've got some data, a lot of data from that end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell a whole bunch of comics, and collect that data from that end and take a look at the different ratios and just uh, numbers and see what it means really to invest on something, what the rate of return might be and whatnot, just to connect up with personal finance and investing and whatnot, right? And ASMR mathematics, of course, okay? So the first set of comics we ended up selling are these guys. Let me put these in order. Let me show them to you. And they're the Google Boy sets, okay? This is Google Boy number one. And we end up selling this one for $20.50. The starting bid was $20 for all of these. So there's two people bidding on this. One person stepped in at the last second and bought it for $20.50 uh, Canadian. And these are Canadian funds I'm gonna give you right now. We can talk about, uh, we'll do a conversion when we put in, you know, collect a whole bunch of data in American funds as well but because i'm listing on .ca not .com ebay made it very hard for me to list on .com the american ebay site so anybody that's doing a search in the us if they're only doing a search with comic books in the united states they won't be able to find the comics that we're listing okay so starting bid was twenty dollars for each one of these twenty dollars canadian which is about fifteen dollars and fifty fifteen dollars and fifty cents us right this one went 20 for 2050 okay the rest of these went for twenty dollars okay this is google boy number two here's google boy number three right and this is the ash cat so the total, let me tell you what the fees for these are, because this is gonna be important, and I'm gonna create a, a spreadsheet for these, okay, on my personal computer, and then once we accumulate a fair bit of data with a couple of sets of, uh, or a couple of months of selling comics, right, uh, I'll provide the spreadsheet online somewhere, open source, where you can take a look at it and play around with it and whatnot. Just the same way we've done with some of the comic book haul videos because we use, I forget which uh, site it is, which program we use to have that data available for people where they can take a look at the formulas and stuff. But we'll do the same for this, okay? But just to let you know what the fee structure was, what the fees were from eBay and PayPal, right? So total cost, uh, total selling price for all these four comics was $80.50, okay? The eBay fees individually for each one was, for the ones that sold for $20 was $2.10. For the one that was $20.50, it was $2.15. So total eBay fees was $8.45, Canadian again. The PayPal fee, fee for this was three dollars and 76 cents okay canadian so total fees ended up being twelve dollars and 21 cent canadian you divide that with the selling price which is eighty dollars and fifty cents you get your decimal and you convert to percent which is just basically moving the decimal over a couple of spots right so the total fees from ebay and paypal was 15 point one six percent so 15 percent in fees combined from ebay and paypal which is a lot right what i'm going to do for the next set of google boys that i'm going to put on ebay is put them all as a lot 
uh, Google Boy one, two, three, and the Ashcan together, and uh, I'll list it for eighty dollars. Okay, and if it ends up selling, we'll take a look at what the fee from eBay is going to be because I'm assuming the fee from eBay is going to be less. It won't be eight dollars and forty five cents because this was individual listings, but I sort of took advantage of eBay's uh, promotion, I guess. I don't know if they're doing this on a monthly basis or not, but there was no fees to list the comic books, do the listings. I had, they gave a, you know, I don't know if they're doing this for everyone. It's a monthly thing, but basically they gave 50 free listings for the month of July, right? And we've gone through, I don't know, 30 of them so far or something or more than that, 35 or so, right? So listing for these, there was no listing fee. It was just a selling fee, right? So hopefully they're doing this on a monthly basis. If they're not, if they're going to start charging fees for even listing the comics, then um, that's going to be pretty expensive. Actually, there's one other calculation here that I didn't do. Uh, there was a sort of an extra fee, 34 cents per comic book for these ones. So 0.34 times 4 dollar 36 more so dollar 36 plus 12.12 uh, i'm assuming that was a combined fee combining i don't know what that fee is right i might send them an email try to figure out what it is that they're charging us for divided so it came out to 13 dollars 57 cents total fees divided by 80.5 and it comes out to Sixteen dollars and eighty, uh, sixteen point eight five eight six percent. So seventeen percent in fees, which is enormous, enormous, right? So seventeen percent in fees. We'll go through and do the corrections, and make sure we're filling all, filling in all the, uh, uh, all the stuff in, all the data into the spreadsheet. Uh, once we go formal with this, and we'll make a video and talk about it and whatnot, right? So basically, we paid 17% in fees. What I'm gonna do is, and what we're gonna do right now is package these up. And these are some of the, <laughs> some of the packaging that I kept from all the, all the comic book hauls we've done over the last few years, right? And we've bought a lot of comic books over the last few years. I think these, this packaging is from comic books we bought uh, from this one seller. We ended up over like two, three month period, we ended up buying like a thousand comics from the guy, right? And he had packaged them up with bubble tape and, and cardboard and stuff like this. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. And one other thing I'm going to do is, because this is our first, sell from um, this sort of project that we're taking on right because what we did in a previous video went through basically I went through my comic book collection I pulled out four four and a half short boxes of comics that we decided to sell over the next few months right and this is a set of those okay and because this is the first sell first sale from this project and it is the first Google Boy, Google Boy sale um, that I've done, I guess, for like 20 years almost, or 18 years or something. I'm gonna include a little extra, just a little gift uh, for the person. And I found uh, just a handful, just a bunch of Google Boy stickers that we printed in the 1990s, sort of as promotion stuff. And this is the cover of issue number three, right? I love this cover, okay? So we printed a whole bunch of Google Boy stickers for issue number three. So I'm gonna include this one in there as well. I think the person is gonna appreciate it. Um, they sent a message saying they were really happy of getting these, uh, these Google Boys. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna tag this on onto the back of Google Boy number three. Okay. And we're just gonna package these up. And I charged, uh, just so you know, I charged uh, $10 for shipping per listing. And I said I was gonna charge a dollar extra and dollar Canadian extra for each additional comic. So total shipping for this package, I charged $13 Canadian. Now it's gonna cost me more to ship this, right? And 
I'm gonna add tracking to this as well right even without tracking it was gonna cost me more with tracking is gonna cost me even more so we're paying basically if you count everything out everything up we're paying you know probably minimum uh, if you add it up because the total sale with the thirteen dollars of shipping total payment was ninety three dollars and fifty cents the odds are we're gonna be you know paying about twenty percent of whatever we end up getting sent to us through PayPal in fees PayPal fees eBay fees and shipping costs right uh, but we'll take a look at the, all that stuff uh, when we put the spreadsheet together and see how we can optimize that now what I'm gonna do is when I'm packaging these up I'm gonna take the covers make them face each other right so two on one side two on the other side that way if there's any punctures in, during the shipping they're not gonna hit the books they'll hit the cardboard we're gonna put bubble wrap on this too right and we're doing it that way and we've got the Google boy sticker on the back of this right I think they're gonna appreciate it and what I'm gonna do as well is we've got comic book uh, magazine size bags Oops. I'm just gonna take one of these out and I'm gonna put the comics in them and then tape it up so they don't move around right uh, really don't want too much movement during shipping if at all possible so I'm gonna put these in here all right and the magazine bags are bigger so I'm gonna tape these up It's nice and tight person that bought these uh, does watch our videos as well so if you're watching this we're <laughs> we're uh, the odds are you probably see this video before you get the comics okay maybe maybe uh, if you're watching this okay now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put these in a bubble wrap let's see Oop. Yeah, let's take this off extra tape and let's do this like this like this I'm gonna do it like this okay so this is the way I'm gonna do the bubble wrap I'm gonna wrap it up like this right I'm gonna fold this over I'm just gonna cut that maybe I have a one that actually fits it better Ooh, let's take a look at this one this is shorter Well, we don't have to cut the bubble wrap where's this one? Oh, this one's shorter let's do this one I like that I saved a whole bunch of uh, and I have more than these uh, bubble wraps and boards and stuff so we're gonna do this we're gonna do this this is better so we don't have to cut it like this right and then we're gonna fold these over this might be overdoing it a little bit for packaging but I do want the stuff to get there safe and uh, this will give us a base value the maximum will cost us to ship four bucks anyway okay and uh, that way uh, later on uh, we might fine-tune this process and reduce the bulking of this bulkiness of it and the weight of it that way we're not paying so much on shipping okay. so let's do this okay so we got it 
packaged up like this. It's pretty nice. It's not that bulky, but I think I'm gonna put uh, cardboard on these as well. I'm gonna put this in this guy. Let me see how much space this takes. So if you do this, that should get there safe. But I think what I'm going to do, because this has got packaging. You know what? This should get there well enough. Uh, let's see. Put sandwich on between boards. Like this. And then put this on. It's gonna kick up the weight a little bit, but it is safer. I'm gonna do this, okay? And I'll find out uh, on, when I go to the post office, how much overweight we were uh, in terms of, uh, you know, hitting a lower shipping cost on this. Is that big enough, the cardboard? I think so. There's no way this should get damaged. You never know, you never know, right? You never know, you never know. Let me see, do I have a bigger? Let's do this. I got a whole bunch of cardboard stuff here, right? Let's do, let's see if there's anything wider that we have. Let's see. I'll be about the same. Yeah, they're all going to be about the same. Mm, let's use this one instead. This might be a little loud. I'm pulling off some tape on this. This one's a little wider, right? So it fits it better. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna tape these down so they don't move around within the sandwich board, right? Let's Sorry about the noise, gang. Just wanna make sure the comics get there safe. Right. Package it nicely. Watch us be on like a couple of grams over the certain fee where it's gonna get us up to like ridiculous fee, right? So take a look. I'm just taping uh, taping the sides like this so they don't move around within. Right? That's pretty tight. Here, we'll put... I mean, that's not going to move around, but we'll put one at the bottom as well. Okay. So we got tape on all. Right? That's not going to move. And then we're going to use this guy. Cool. So we don't need these guys. Let's put these guys away. Right? Look at that. That's a nice sandwich. Google Boy sandwich. Right. So let's tape these guys up. Make it tight. We need three more. And if we end up doing one more of these packaging videos, I might cut these tapes beforehand so we don't get the 
too loud of a noise. Alright, take a look. Make it tight. Not too tight that the comics are getting squished, just tight enough so they're not going to be moving around. And the odds are uh, Take a look. This is the box, right? Or the packaging stuff. And it's going to be sitting like that. So there's lots of room. Uh, the odds are later on I'll try to find some packages that are a little bit tighter. And it's sitting like this. Now this might move around inside the packaging, but we're going to make this tight and it won't move around, right? Got a little lid up front. Let's do this. Nice. That's our package. All right. I'm just gonna put tape on top of this just to seal it up a little bit better. Make sure it doesn't open up. the goodies are getting there nice and safe All right. padded mailer let's see and there's like room here right? and room up top this should be safe very very safe okay and we're gonna put our addresses here and addresses here and this is going to the united states okay the person that bought this is from the states uh, i hope they enjoy it uh, i hope they love these books there's a lot of uh, blood sweat and tears uh, that went into getting these books uh, published printed and distributed as far as we could anyway uh, even through the censorship even through the censorship okay uh so that's it our first sell on ebay in regards to this project that we're doing right and these are the mermaid stuff my own stuff so i'm going to separate these when we take a look at the data of how much the gogo -Go boy stuff or the mermaid publication stuff is selling for and how much um, the other books my own personal connect collection and this is part of my own personal collection but i think we need to sort of separate the two to a certain degree right because this is this was my publishing endeavor it wasn't really part of the whole collecting comic books and investing comic books so we'll you know do something with the data we'll figure it out compile maybe a couple of spreadsheets with this included and with this not included and maybe three of them with this separate and take a look at that as well right but we'll put the table together and have that available in a couple of months or whatnot i hope the person that gets these appreciates them i hope they leave positive feedback and um, we've had a handful of other books uh, three or four other books that have sold already as well and there's a bunch of auctions that are ending today tomorrow and maybe the next day and what i'm going to do is going to be listing more comic books over the next uh well indefinitely over the next few weeks few months just on a regular basis every day or every second day every third day or so just list four or five each day and um, and see what happens and we can collect all the data and take a look at the mathematics of it and take a look at the ratios and uh, see where it takes us just to do some analysis and learn about how mathematics plays into our personal finances when it comes to investing and managing our budget and living this uh, this life really okay that's it for now everyone i hope uh, i hope you have a fantastic fantastic day bye for now